the icebergs here are stunning. Those cobalt blues and those turquoise colors. It's a result of the light hitting the crystals inside those blocks of ice. Ice that scientists say in some cases is more than 400,000 years old. Experts believe 90% of the world's freshwater ice is here at the bottom of the world. To better understand how much freshwater is trapped in the ice here, consider this. If it all melted at once down here, the world's sea levels would rise the height of two football fields. While a worst case scenario of one giant melt off won't happen, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has seen a 2.7% increase in temperatures at its South Pole station in the last 30 years. As the temperatures rise, there have been some cataclysmic events here. Most notably in the last decade, two pieces of the ice sheet broke off. Each was about the size of Rhode Island. Those massive pieces have since broken into icebergs. We can see only about 15% of an iceberg. The other 85% is down below the water. At the surface, the melt-off happens quicker because the water is warmer. As warm as 34 degrees, but down below, it's colder. At its warmest, 32 degrees, but usually much colder. Most of the ice that breaks off here does not leave Antarctica as an iceberg. That's because it's caught up in a gyre, a sort of gentle whirlpool that keeps the ice corralled here. Doesn't leave until it slowly melts and exits as water. For the Weather Channel, I'm Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Antarctica.